I'm James from Bike Lock Wiki, and in this video, we're comparing the Foldy Lock Elite to the Pedego Folding Bike Lock. First up, as with all of our comparison videos, we start with a basic drop test, dropping each lock 10 times from a height of around 1.6 meters. This simulates the knocks and drops that a lock will receive throughout its lifetime and showcases the durability of its outer housing. Both locks survived this test with minimal wear and worked as they should. As you've just seen, no real damage to speak of. Hammer test up next, striking either lock 10 times in various locations. Now this test is not designed to simulate an attack method a thief might use on the street, but instead provides insight into how strong either lock's mechanism housing and whether or not a lock has been properly hardened. Upon first inspection afterwards, I noticed damage to the outer plastic casing, which is typical for this test. I was slightly surprised, however, to find that the locking mechanism had jammed. The key only turned partially when inside the mechanism and wouldn't release. However, if I were a thief trying to steal a bike with this method, even though the lock is technically broken at this stage, it would still be intact and safely secured to your bike. The Pedego took 10 solid hits and performed fairly well, with some damage to its outer housing, but the locking mechanism still worked fine. I do note that this lock flops open super easily every time you try to unlock it, which is how this lock performs out of the box. It's also pretty loud and squeaky to operate compared to the Elite, but a great performance from the Pedego so far. Now for some more realistic testing. 24 inch bolt cutters are highly portable and are often concealed by thieves for incognito use. The Foldy Lock Elite's plates are wider around the rivet than they are in the middle which means despite trying, I was unable to grip them in the jaws of my bolt cutters at all. This is part of the Elite's advanced rivet protection, and it also uses a thick steel washer which sits in between the plates and helped to prevent my 24-inch bolt cutters from clamping down on the rivet. I've cut through the rivets of several folding locks with my 24-inch bolt cutters before, and I didn't have high hopes for the Pedago here. The thin link ends held firmly in the jaws first time round, which isn't a good start, and after 10 seconds and minimal effort, the first rivet gave way. To make sure this was not quite literally a bad nut, I attempted another rivet, which gave way just as easily. Far from fantastic rivet protection here from the Pedago and the 42 inch bolt cutters up next. Do bear in mind that 42 inch bolt cutters are in no way portable and are far too big to be concealed by a thief for use on the street. However, this test does allow us to compare the strength and design of the plates these folding locks utilize. Pedago up first and straight away, I could tell that this lock wasn't going to last long. I'm using my foot here to prevent the plate from rotating in the jaws of the bolt cutter which could damage them. Taking just under 13 seconds, the first cut was made, and again, I repeated the test to ensure the result was an accurate reflection of the Pedago's performance, this time cutting through its plate in just seven seconds. The Foldy Lock Elite uses 24% thicker and much wider hardened steel plates. The width of these plates means that even with 42 inch cutters like these, making a cut through the lock is extremely difficult. After trying for over a minute and using much more energy and leverage than it took to cut the Pedego, the Elite held strong and I called it a day. As you can see here, where the plates are so wide, the cutter's jaws are only making contact with a tiny portion of the plate at any one time. Now for a comparison of the security features and the characteristics of either lock. I do want to make people aware before we get into the nitty gritty that the Pedigo Folding Lock is a white label product that is produced by a Chinese lock manufacturer called Etook. Pedigo simply slapped their branding onto an Etook lock and the price that you pay for the Etook version is significantly cheaper. Despite this being the 90 centimeter version, everything about these locks is the same. The keys, the packaging, the cylinder, even the strange off and on markings on the side of the lock. It's the same product, just relabeled Pedago with a significant price hike. Folding locks are designed to be as portable as possible and are typically lighter and more compact than other lock types. The Foldy Lock Elite is actually quite heavy for a folding lock, weighing 1.89 kilos, but this is due to the fact that it's currently the most secure folding lock on the market and has thicker plates than any other folding lock. The 110 centimeter version of the Pedego folding bike lock weighs in at 1.25 kilos and is considerably lighter than the Elite, but also considerably less secure as we discovered from our destruction testing. All half decent folding locks are supplied with a mounting system of sorts, which means you won't have to haul the lock around in your backpack. And unless you're a certified weight weenie, you'll hardly notice the lock's weight while cycling. 
Both of these locks come with mounting systems that securely fasten either lock to your bike. The Pedagos mount is a cage style mount and works well at transporting the lock. It doesn't feel like it's made from the most durable plastic, but it allows convenient storage and release of your lock when on the move. The Elite's mount is unique and is the first folding lock mount of this style that I've used. You have to unlock the Elite to be able to remove it, which does take a bit of getting used to, but once you understand how this mount works, it's fairly straightforward to operate. Also, since the Elite is locked in place, this means that even if the silicon strap came open while riding, it's not possible for the lock to fall out of the mount. The Elite and the Pedago that we used in the destruction testing both claim a 110cm circumference, making them suitable for locking multiple bikes or chunkier bikes with fatter tyres. The Pedago is actually marginally longer than the Elite and does provide slightly more internal locking space measuring 39cm long by 13cm wide, compared to the Elite which measures 32cm long by 15cm wide. Both of these locks are also available in 90cm models, which are more suitable for locking a single bike. The Etook lock that I have here, as I explained already, is exactly how the 90cm version of the Pedago folding lock looks whereas the 90cm version of the Elite is labelled the Foldy Lock Forever, which offers the same security ratings as the Elite, but is slightly smaller. As we found out earlier in testing, the Elite's plates are thicker and wider than the Pedagos, measuring 6.4mm thick by 21.7mm wide, whereas the Pedagos sit at 4.9mm thick by 19.8mm wide. The Foldy Lock Elite earned the Sold Secure Pedal Cycle Gold Rating, along with ART 3-star certification. Foldy Lock are currently the only brand on the market to hold 3-star certification for a folding bike lock. Their brand was built on folding bike locks, so it's good to see that they're designing and building them very well. For clarity, the Sold Secure Pedal Cycle Gold Rating means, in Sold Secure's words, that a lock offers theft resistance against a dedicated tool list. So locks with this rating are designed to resist tools that a more serious thief may use compared to an opportunistic chancer. The Pedago doesn't have any independent security ratings, and it's quite clear from our tests that it wouldn't fit into the same security category as the Elite. With its poorly protected rivets, I'd be hesitant to use this lock for anything other than super short-term lockups where I'd always be near my bike. If you have bicycle insurance or if your bike is covered under your home insurance, you'll want to read the fine print and see what it says about the quality of lock you're using. Many insurance policies require a certain standard of lock to be used for a successful claim to be made in the event of a theft, meaning locking with anything else could leave you out of pocket. Comparing the price of either of these locks, the Pedago 110 folding lock retails at $130 on the Pedago website, which in my humble opinion is incredibly expensive for a lock that offers low-end protection for your bike. The Elite retails at $140 on the CT Lock website, which is also very expensive for a folding lock, but it's the most secure folding lock on the market at the moment, so that does make its price point slightly more bearable, but still very expensive. The Foldy Lock Elite uses an automatic keyhole cover that opens and closes as you insert and remove your key, a great feature that helps to keep the lock's mechanism clean over time. The Pedago does also have a keyhole cover, but it's not automatic like the Elite's, so you do need to remember to open and close it when you're locking your bike. The Elite uses a slider style locking mechanism, which is similar to those found on automobiles and other high value vehicles. This mechanism is super smooth to operate and touch wood, so far after nearly six years, I've never experienced a jammed mechanism with any of CT Lock's products. The Pedago uses a wafer style cylinder, which is slightly clunkier to operate since the key has to be inserted the right way around and does get caught a little on its way into the lock. Wafer locking mechanisms are typically more vulnerable to picking attempts, but in reality, away from YouTube lock picking channels, you don't find bike thieves on the street attempting to pick bike locks. A pair of bolt cutters or an angle grinder takes way less brain power to use and will be substantially quicker than picking attempts. As previously mentioned in the video, the Pedago flops open very easily when unlocked, whereas the design of the Elite's locking mechanism ensures the lock stays in place until you're ready to go. Design features like these may sound insignificant, but if you ride your bike every day, these features shouldn't be scoffed at as they do make a significant difference to the usability of a bike lock. The Foldy Lock Elite comes with three keys, whereas the Pedago comes with four. 
both sets of keys are supposedly replaceable using the key codes provided. I don't have any experience with Pedago's key replacement service, but inside the lock's instruction manual, it says the keys are replaceable by calling the phone number printed and quoting the key code number. Despite the current global shift of attention away from sustainability, I'll continue to cover the packaging options that brands are opting for, as I believe that using easily recyclable packaging is important. CT Lock use mixed material packaging, which is more difficult to recycle since multiple processes are required for the materials to be separated. The Pedago comes in a plastic box and has an internal cardboard sleeve, which are both easily recyclable, so a small win here for Pedago. Whenever locking your bike, the rule of thumb you should remember is to prioritize the security of your bike's most expensive components. If you ride a conventional pedal bicycle, this will nearly always be the frame and the rear wheel. To lock these, simply lock the frame's rear triangle and wheel to an immovable object. If you frequently lock your bike in high-risk areas, you may also want to use a cable extension to secure your front wheel. Both of these locks are compatible with cable extensions, and while they don't provide a huge amount of security, they do prevent opportunist thieves from nicking your bike's additional components. Summing this one up is straightforward. There's a clear divide between these two folding locks. The Foldy Lock Elite is a high security folding lock designed for securing medium to high value bikes in medium to high risk areas. On the contrary, as previously stated, I'd be hesitant to recommend using the Pedago folding lock for anything other than short cafe stops or short trips where you'll always be near your bike. And since there's only $10 difference in the retail price between these two locks, there is only one logical choice. The Elite far outshines the Pedago and will provide significantly more security for your bike. If you're interested in either of these, I'll leave links in the description below. Thanks for watching.